division relationship between multiplication and division there are five bunches of six keys each total number of keys is equal to 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30 how many sixes are there in 30 the answer is visible it is 5 therefore 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. Again, divide 30 keys into 5 bunches. How many keys are there in each bunch? You are right. There are 6 keys in each bunch. Therefore, every multiplication fact has corresponding 2 division facts. Properties of division Number 1. Dividing a number by 1 when we divide a number other than 0 by 1, we get the number itself as answer. Examples 7 divided by 1 is equal to 7. 9 divided by 1 is equal to 9. 15 divided by 1 is equal to 15. 18 divided by 1 is equal to 18. Property 1. Any non-zero number divided by 1 gives the number itself as the answer. Number 2. Dividing a number by itself. When we divide a number other than 0 by the number itself, we get 1 as answer. Examples. 14 divided by 14 is equal to 1. 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Property 2. Any non-zero number divided by itself gives 1 as the answer. Number 3. Dividing 0 by a number. When we divide 0 by a number other than 0, we get 0 as answer. Examples. 0 divided by 5 is equal to 0. 0 divided by 7 is equal to 0. 0 divided by 9 is equal to 0. 0 divided by 11 is equal to 0. Property 3. 0 divided by any non-zero number gives 0 as answer. Number 4. Dividing a number by 0 is not possible. Let us divide 5 by 0 by the use of repeated subtraction. Given number 5, take away 0. Number left, take away 0. Number left, take away 0. Number left, and so on. Thus, every time we subtract 0 and get 5, the process of subtraction has no end. Thus, it is not possible to divide a number by 0. Property 4. Dividing a number by 0 has no meaning. Always remember. Number 1. The number to be divided is called dividend. Number 2. The number that we are dividing by is called divisor. Number 3. The answer that is obtained in division is called quotient. Long division method. Division of a two-digit number by a one-digit number without remainder. In long division method, we arrange the numbers in the way shown here. Example 1. Divide 54 by 9 by the long division method. Step 1. Arrange the number as shown here. Step 2. Recite the multiplication table of 9 till you reach 54. 9 sixes are 54 or 9 multiplied by 6 is equal to 54. Write 6 in the quotient. Step 3. Write 54 below 54 and subtract. Thus, we get 0 as the remainder. 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6. Example 2. Divide 72 by 3 by the long division method. Step 1. Arrange the numbers as shown here. Step 2. Here, 
7 is greater than 3. So, instead of taking 72 as a whole, divide 7 tenths by 3. 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. Write 2 in the tenths place in the quotient and 6 below 7. Step 3. Bring down 2 ones. 1 tenths plus 2 ones is equal to 12 ones. Divide 12 ones by 3. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Write 4 in the ones place in the quotient and 12 below 12 as shown here. Now 12 ones minus 12 ones is equal to 0. Division with remainder. It does not always happen that the divisor divides the dividend exactly. Sometimes a number left at the end cannot be further divided. Such a number is called remainder. Example, divide 63 by 5. Step 1. Here 6 is greater than 5. So divide 6 tenths by 5 first. 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5. Write 1 in the tenths place in the quotient and 5 below 6 as shown here. 6 tenths minus 5 tenths is equal to 1 ten. Step 2. Bring down 3 ones. 1 ten plus 3 ones is equal to 13 ones. Divide 13 ones by 5. 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10. Write 2 in the 1's place in the quotient and 10 below 13 in. Step 3. Subtract as follows. 3 1's minus 10 1's is equal to 3 1's. The remainder is 3. Division of a 3 digit number by a 1 digit number. Example 1. Divide 860 by 4. Step 1. Divide 800s by 4. 4 multiplied by 200s is equal to 800s. So, write 2 in the 100s place in the quotient and 8 below 8. Now, subtract 800s minus 800s is equal to 0. Step 2. Since no remainder is left, bring 6 tenths down. Divide 6 tenths by 4. 4 multiplied by 1 ten is equal to 4 tenths. So, write 1 in the tenths place in the quotient and 4 below 6. Now, subtract 6 tenths minus 4 tenths is equal to 2 tenths. Step 3. Bring down 0 ones. 2 tenths plus 0 ones is equal to 20 ones. Divide 20 ones by 4. 4 multiplied by 5 ones is equal to 20 ones. Write 5 in the ones place in the quotient and 20 below 20 as shown here. Now subtract. 20 ones minus 20 ones is equal to 0. The remainder is 0. Example 2. Divide 758 by 9. Step 1. 7 is less than 9. So, we will regroup 7 hundreds and 5 tenths into 75 tenths. Now, divide 75 tenths by 9. 9 multiplied by 8 tenths is equal to 72 tenths. Write 8 in the tenths place in the quotient and 72 below 75. Step 2. Subtract 75 tenths minus 72 tenths is equal to 3 tenths. Bring down 8 ones. 3 tenths plus 8 ones is equal to 38 ones. Divide 38 ones by 9. 9 multiplied by 4 ones is equal to 36 ones. Write 36 below 38. Subtract 38 ones minus 36 ones is equal to 2 ones. So, 2 is the remainder. Answer verification. Example, divide 848 by 5. 
Hence, quotient is equal to 169, remainder is equal to 4. Now, I know all the steps of division sums. Verification In the aforementioned example, dividend is equal to 848, divisor is equal to 5, quotient is equal to 169, and remainder is equal to 3. We know that Divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder is equal to dividend. Divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder is equal to 5 multiplied by 169 plus 3 is equal to 845 plus 3 is equal to 848 is equal to dividend. Division by 10. Example. Find the quotient and the remainder. A. Quotient is equal to 3, remainder is equal to 5. B. Quotient is equal to 47, remainder is equal to 8. It is very easy to divide a number by 10. Instead of following long division method, we can obtain the quotient by separating the unit digit from the dividend. The digit in the ones place forms the remainder and the remaining digits form the quotient.